You see this? Can you see this? Look at this. Exhibit A. Exhibit A. One Canon EFS. I don't know if you can see that on there, EFS. Let's focus it, come on. EFS 10 to 18 millimeter. Those of you who have been watching this channel for a while know this is one of my favorite lenses. It is a very versatile lens because it can open, well, 10 to 18. It is a, it's a crop lens and um, it's great for vlogging. It's very light, gets into all kinds of places. Can use it on my M50 with a little adapter that I've got over here. And um, it's been a very good lens for me. So, in the recent days, I have sold one of my 70Ds to get a 60 Mark II, 60 Mark I, sorry, 60 Mark I, because I want to shoot with two, two full frames. So this lens can't fit on a full frame. God knows what Canon was thinking when they was making this. Well, I know what they was thinking. They was trying to protect their 16 to 35 L lens. That's what they was trying to do. So anyway, um, I can't use this lens on full frame. So I came across this, this channel, Zeke. Uh, I'll put the links below if you don't know. Zeke's got a channel, a great channel. And it talks about modding this lens and some other EFS lenses so that they can fit, fit on full frame. Here's the screws, one, two, three, and four. And there's also one on the side somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Little one on the side there is in that little hole. So you get that screw out. That little screw there. And then get the rest out and this hole back just kind of lifts off. Something like that. And here's the, the metal mount. EF plate that we're gonna replace it with. Yep, looks nice and shiny. And of course, the four screws are in this bag. Don't want to lose those. Got all the four screws out. So it's just a matter of lifting the top off now. And a little grub screw in the side, of course. That was the first one I took out. So let's see if we can get this off. Should just pop off. Careful. second okay there's there is actually two screws in the side um, mine wasn't coming off this was kind of there's another screw in here so there's a screw inside here and there's one in here and mine weren't coming off because I hadn't taken that other screw out so now I've taken it out there you go that's what you have inside bit bright this let's turn it down a bit oops go the right way yeah so now you can see all the bits inside hopefully I haven't damaged this I'm trying to get it get the thing off so since I've got it open I'm gonna just blow it out and um Give it a clean before I put the new one on. A new metal one, 
just goes over the top, I guess. Kind of like that. Line up the holes. And it should work. Looking cool. Okay, raise it on. Hopefully it's on right. Hopefully it still works. I haven't tried it yet. But um, yeah, it adds a considerable amount of weight to it. So my once lightest lens is no longer the lightest lens. What? <laughs> Ying! Look at that. I have done the mod. I have done the mod on this lens and it is now got a metal EF mount on my EFS 10 to 18. It is now an EF lens. I can now put this on my 6D Mark 1 and I'm going to do that right now. Let's do that for ya so you can see. Um, look at that. Look at that. We have an EFS 10 to 18 on a 60. And it is now a proper 10 to 18 millimeter. Although because it's an EFS, I cannot open it past 14. If I open it past 14, you'll see a black ring around there. But that's cool. Look at that. That is really nice, mate. Really nice. Really Andy, Ari. Let's put this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. I can now use this. I can now bring this lens and um, let's take my glasses off because it's following my lens instead of me. I can now put this lens in my lens bag when I go to do um, street photography or photo essays and I can pull it out when I need to do some video. I can throw it on the 6D2 and get a little vlog, then fling my chin ons back on and continue. So we set, and that's the reason why I actually did this, this, um, this mod. I needed to do this mod because I, I really needed to carry this lens. I could carry the 16 to 35, but it weighs a ton. And it's, well, it doesn't weigh a ton, but it's, it's very long. And this is now my widest full frame lens, EF lens. Excellent. Um, it's pretty easy mod to do. You can you send off for this metal plate at a special website Woo! that only certain people know about. Now, if you go on Zeek, it, all the information's on there. But you send off, <laughs> you send out for this this um metal EF plate. I got mine for twenty twenty seven pounds. Pretty okay, twenty seven quid. Um, it comes all the way from China, I believe. And it took about six weeks, so give it time. But um, yeah, it arrived two days ago and I thought, let me do this for my channel. So, you know, for you lot who might not know about this, this EF, this EF adapter. I mean, not adapter, this, this modification. Now with this metal mount on it, you can feel it's now got some, it's got some quality to it. It's got some, you know, it's got some bang to it now. So yeah, excellent. It still fits on my adapter. Well, I'm assuming it does because I haven't actually tried it yet. This is my EFM adapter. So if I still want to use it on an EFM, look at that. Still works, still fits. So I can still use it on my M50. And my remaining 70D, which I haven't got over here, it should still work because obviously you can put AF lenses on a 70D. So it's win-win. Excellent. So this is how we're going to be rocking. Well, it'll actually be on that. It'll actually be on the, on the 62. In fact, I'm going to swap the lens over so that you can see what it looks like shooting through this EF 10 to 18 that's been modded. Stay right there. Do not move. Okay, here we go. We are now shooting on the EF 10 to 18 at 14 millimeters. The modded EF 10 to 18. 
And this is 40 millimeters. Let's go all the way up. Or the wide open. Look at that. Woo! Time tunnel. Woo! This is at 10 mil. So you can see around the edge, you can see the edge of the barrel because it's so wide because this is a EFS lens, right? It wasn't made for full frame. So 14 mil, you can just about see a little vignetting around the edge, but I kind of like the vignetting thing. It kind of frames it nicely. It makes you focus on what's going on in the center. Or we can rock it at 18, which is also good, but it is now actually wider than my 16 to 35 which is what I film with generally when I'm doing these little vlogs, but this is quite a weighty lens. So I've got one of those little, um, one of these little bendy tripods things that I've got underneath my 6D2. And I have to use it. I've got a light one, a substantial one. I have to use the substantial one when I use this lens. But with this light little thing here, I can go back to using the little flinky flinky, you know, little lighty flighty one if I need to. So it's all good. How does it look? Does it compare? Can we now compare these two lenses? You notice that's why I put a little L elastic band on there because yeah, it's getting scared now. Anyway, it's all good. I just wanted to show you that the option is there. If you want to change your EFS into an EF, it's pretty, you know, value for money, 27 quid. Well, if you think it's worth it, I think it's worth it. It's doable. It's a go. Don't say I don't do nothing for ya. It's all good. Zoom. Done.